Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at a CPA exam questions that deals with reportable segments. You need to know how do we determine whether a segment is a reportable segment. Now this topic obviously covered on the CPA exam, covered on inter in intermediate accounting and covered in advanced accounting. So this topic is covered in multiple places. Whether you went to college and there's a special test, not special test, there's there's a quantitative materiality test, and you must meet one of those tests, whether it's one of them is revenue test, profit or loss test, or identifiable asset test. Now we're going to look at this question, and we're going to determine what do they want us to use, which quantitative materiality test to determine whether a segment is reportable or not. The reason I'm showing you those tests to let you know that I do cover this topic in a separate recording. So if you're studying for your CPA exam, or you are taking intermediate accounting or advanced accounting, I strongly suggest you check out my website, farhatlectures.com. Now, if you're a CPA candidate, I don't intend to replace your Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, or any other CPA review course. Please, by all means, keep them. All what I'm asking you is to add me, try me, add me for a month, add that vitamin pill that's going to be a useful addition to your CPA review course. I can add 10 to 15 points to your CPA review course by explaining the material differently. This is what I do. I don't give you the same thing that they're giving you. Otherwise, I'm not supplement. A lot, a lot of companies, they claim that they are supplement, but basically they're the same thing. I'm not saying that they're, they're not good or good or anything. I'm just saying to be a supplement, it means you have to give something different. And this is what I can give you differently. I can explain the material differently, okay? Try one month of subscription, and if you don't like it, cancel your gain is potentially passing the exam and check out my website if not for anything to find out how well or not well is your university doing on the CPA exam. As I mentioned, I have advanced accounting, intermediate accounting courses, so you can check out those courses as well, as well as many other courses. Connect with me on LinkedIn and take a look at my LinkedIn recommendation, students that use my system to pass the exam, like my YouTube and share them. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. So let's take a look at this question. We have Google Corporation, and the reason I selected Google is because Google run many other companies. They have many segments, so this way I kind of make the example a little bit realistic. Reported the following operating results or net loss from its component for year end of December 31st. So Google has Google Search, Google Maps, Google Ads, YouTube, and Google Clouds. I just made up these numbers, so don't... Don't think these are the actual numbers for any particular period or anything. They don't reflect anything. Now they want you to, to compute what, what, what is reportable segment based on the operating result of the company. So we have to look at the operating result of the company. What does that mean? It means we have to look at their profit and loss. Simply put, we have to look at this measurement. We have to determine first the absolute amount of its profit of or loss Okay, combine operating profit of all segments that did not incur a loss and combine all losses of the operating segment that did not report a loss, that did report a loss, sorry. So we have to separate the losses from the gains. So let's do that first. We're going to have a profit column. So we have to determine a profit column and a loss column. Okay, so we have to kind of keep the profit together, the losses together, add them up first. So, and we don't use the, we don't use the consolidated amount. We use the component profit and loss for the profit and loss. You would use the component. Remember this. So they're trying, trying to trick you here to, to add the elimination and the consolidation for the Google search. They have 2,150,000 uh, Google maps, 300,000 uh, Google ads, a loss of 1.8 million. That's a loss column. YouTube, a profit of 800,000, and Google Cloud, a loss of 200,000. Let's start with losses. All the losses equal to a million. I'm sorry, two million, not million, two million. So this is, this is what we do first, add up all the losses. Now we're gonna add up all the gain. So we have, that's 800,000, 100, 100, 1.1 1, 1, 1 million. So we're looking at 3,250,000. First, you have to choose the greater of these two. The greater of these two is the profit. So we look at the absolute value, okay? So if the losses were negative 4 million, 
we look at the absolute value negative 4 million 4 million which is the absolute value of negative 4 million will be greater than 3.2 so we're gonna we're gonna look at we're gonna use the profit number which is 3.5 million and multiply it by 10 percent to find our threshold if we take this number multiplied by 10 10 percent the threshold is the threshold is 325,000 this is the threshold 325,000 this is the threshold how did I come up with this I took the greater of the total profit or the total loss the absolute value of the greater which was the profit multiplied by 10 percent now the reportable segments are the segments that either that, that exceeds this number for for example we can take out Google Maps Google Maps is 300,000 Google Maps is out therefore let's take out Google Maps from all the answers Google Maps is out so a is out B is out Google Maps so we still have two to go um, we're gonna include Google search because it's um, obviously greater than 325 we're gonna include Google Ads although Google Ads have 1.8 million of losses we look at the absolute value so Google Ads will stay Google Ads this is Google Ads Google Ads will stay I, I already find the answer because this one does not have Google Ads so the answer is D but let's make sure so we finished Google Ads YouTube 800,000 YouTube is included YouTube is included and the cloud is 200,000 of losses it's less the absolute value is 200,000 it's less than 325 as we as I thought D is the answer so we're, we're gonna include Google search as a separate component Google Ads and YouTube I know that the, the names of the companies are a little bit difficult to follow here but I chose these companies kind of to make you understand the concept as well and this is what I do I try to explain these concept obviously I explain this the whole thing segment reporting but this is just an an example to show you how it's illustrated now don't think that's the only thing you know you need to know about segment reporting there's other tests you need to be aware of but this is what a typical CPA questions might ask about now at the end of this recording I'm gonna remind you look I am NOT trying to take away your CPA review course by all means keep it I can't but if you want that extra help look it's $30 right now my subscription is $30 are you willing to pay $30 to find out whether I can help you or not my course is designed similar to your CPA review course similar it means I structure it in a set in, in a way that's gonna make you it's gonna make your life easier to follow check me out study hard good luck and stay safe